I have been writing code for over 3 years now and one thing that takes up most of my time is repetitive code. As programmers, we don't like repetitive work, especially writing the same code over and over again. So I thought, why not store all those repetitive pieces of code in one place, somewhere I could just copy and paste from whenever I need it. This idea was brewing in my head for a while. I also remembered sharing JavaScript utility functions on dev community a while ago, and people loved them and were making suggestions to improve them as well. And I thought, what if those code snippets were stored in one organized, easy to access place? And what if it was driven by the community itself? And the idea for QuickSnip was born. Before jumping into the project, I wanted to make sure that I had a clear vision. So I sat down with ChatGPT to brainstorm ideas for the project name, logo, and architecture. After gathering all the details, I hopped on to Figma to sketch out the wireframe. By the way, I took some inspirations from Stack Sorted, so shout out to them. After a few days, design was ready and it was time to move on to the fun part, coding. I decided to go with React, TypeScript and Vite. Frontend took around a week to get everything in place, then came the backend. I wanted to use a routing system inspired by Stack Sorted. Since it was a single page application, I ran into several issues with routing. But after a lot of trial and error, I managed to get it working. However, after a week long break and revisiting the code, I realized that the code was impossible to understand and not to mention maintaining it in the future. So just like a normal programmer, instead of refactoring it, I decided to scrap it all and start over. This time I simplified the architecture and used context API for state management. It's not the cleanest code ever, but hey, if it works, it works. For syntax highlighting, I chose React Syntax Highlighter powered by Prism GS because it was super simple and easy to integrate. Now for storing the code snippets. I took inspirations from other open source projects and decided to use a local database so others can add their own snippets easily. The snippets are stored in JSON files under public data folder. Each programming language has its own file and within each file, snippets are grouped into categories. Here's an example of how it's structured. For the code part, initially I used single line string to store the snippet code. It was compact, but at a cost of readability. After some back and forth with ChatGPT, I realized that I could use arrays instead. That made the code so much easier to inspect and understand. After many more UI adjustments and hours spent cleaning up the code, Quick Snip was finally coming together. But there was something missing. For every open source project, there should be a clear documentation to help contributors understand what your project is about and how they can contribute. I wasn't very experienced with managing open source project, but by some chance, if you type contributing.md into your browser, it will take you directly to an awesome guide to help you get started with open source projects. After some research, I managed to create beginner-friendly guides in both README and contributing files. QuickSnip is now live on Netlify. You can check it out at quicksnip.netlify.app. Why not.com? Because, well, I am broke right now, but hey, if this video gets 50 likes, I will buy a custom domain. I also launched QuickSnip on Product Hunt. It's my first time launching a project there, so now you can leave a review there as well. Speaking of contributions, you can either help by adding new snippets or improving the code. I have written easy to understand explanation in the contributing.md file on how to contribute to this project along with adding snippets, categories, and programming languages. Remember, whether you are fixing a tiny typo, found a bug, or have a future request, every bit means a lot. Thank you. After weeks of coding and debugging, I can now proudly check off this mark. Wait, there are still more. Okay, let's talk about future plans. For now, the search functionality is not working yet. I have been looking into Algolia as a solution and I am planning to implement it soon. So stay tuned. I will keep adding more features based on your feedback and suggestions to hopefully make our coding journey easier and more enjoyable. To wrap it up, here's a question. Do you have a favorite code snippet that you use all the time? ones that you think every developer could benefit from. If so, now is your chance to share it with the world. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.